the CX-75 is a celebration. It just represents what's best in Jaguar design. It's about beauty. It's about enjoying something that's mechanical and beautiful. It's a statement of design, it's a statement of intent, and uh, it's a statement of the future. It's actually very light and very, very agile looking. The body of the, the car is pretty small. The muscles of the car, which are the wheel arches, beautiful crystal lines running across the tops of them, and. Uh, Positioned perfectly, and the cabin just sits amongst this centrally in a very, very elegant, natural fashion. Jaguar has always been about elegant engineering, and you can't get much more elegant than a micro turbine. It's small, compact, very, very exotic, beautifully crafted and they provide a fantastic, very evocative, very romantic, glamorous way of providing a huge amount of power in a very, very exotic supercar. The form of the interior really feels like you're there and the air's being sucked in around you back into the engine. And you're very much sitting right in the eye of the storm. You're right at the center of that powertrain. That's going to be a fantastic experience, you know, unlike anything anyone's ever driven before. Because of its mechanical layout, we have so much more freedom than we've ever had before, and to that end, we can be much more creative. And so what's determining the shape of the car now is less of what's inside it, more of what we want to express. And this entire car is an elegant solution in every sense, about efficiency and it's about beauty. And it's not just about aesthetic beauty, but it's about mechanical beauty as well. To that end, I see it much more of an art form.
Jaguar has, has always been about trying to combine design and technology and innovation. For the 75th anniversary of Jaguar, we wanted to try and show something, we wanted to try and demonstrate something that expresses what Jaguars of the future could look like and be like. We needed to show how the design language can be uh, relevant in the future. We needed to show how we could deliver performance and lightweight in the future. And we needed to show how forward-looking technologies could be delivered within that, within that package. The key message here is it's, it needs to be a sustainable supercar, a, a relevant supercar to today's environment. So it's performance with, with clearly with that responsibility as well. talking in the region of the top speed of greater than 200 miles an hour. You can use it under fully electric mode. That's when the vehicle is operated purely from the battery cells. Under that mode, there's just under 70 miles worth of range that the vehicle is capable of delivering. Then there's the charge sustaining or, or range extended use. And that's when the turbines effectively charge and, and top up the battery cells. And under that operating mode, the vehicle will have a range of 900 kilometers. When the turbines power direct to the four electrical motors, which are in each of the four corners of the vehicle, uh, and that's how we deliver the 0-200 kilometers in 3.4 seconds. I think the CX-75 is very much a beacon for the future. It really starts to showcase our expertise in cutting-edge design and intelligent use of new technologies, but in a sustainable manner.